The way that enrollment RX sees the world of RAD, of recruitment admissions and decisions, is that we believe the entire process of RAD belongs in the CRM system. So here in the middle, we have this, this pond of the CRM system, and we believe that all of those recruitment and admissions and indeed decisions should be occurring there. On the left-hand side, we're showing how data sources could be feeding into the system. So those could be anything from search lists, or test score data, or even third-party applications, the common application or CAS applications that might be feeding into the CRM system, populating that data in the CRM system. And then on the right-hand side, from an enterprise integration perspective, we believe philosophically that only enrolled student data should be sent over to the SIS. We believe philosophically that it's not best practice to be managing applications in the student information system. We believe all of that should be occurring in the CRM system, making decisions in the CRM system. And then again, only sending admitted student data, ideally over to the student information system. So when we talk about that data exchange over here on the right-hand side of this picture, where we're sending data to the SIS and we're even bringing data back from the SIS, that's that enterprise integration. And when we speak to schools, we, we describe that type of integration from a recruitment and admissions perspective to include the following. So with this slide, we can see here on the left how we have CRM, in our case, Salesforce, but CRM over to the student information system, and we're sending data that way. And then on the right-hand side, we're, we're showing how we're bringing certain data back from the SIS over to, back into the CRM. On the CRM side, on the left-hand side, if we're looking at Salesforce over to the SIS or the CRM over to the SIS, what we would normally see included in that kind of enterprise integration would be things like general person data, application data, previous high school or college data, right? We're gonna send that information, we're gonna collect it in the CRM and we're gonna send it over to the SIS. Optionally, some, some schools might also choose to say, Let's collect the family data, the emergency contact data in the CRM. Let's also put that into the SAS. Some schools even would want this all to be real time, right? Many, for, for example, community colleges where they want applicants immediately upon a decision are able to now register for classes in their student information system. So they even want that to be that kind of real time integration. But that's what we would see, again, on the left hand side, sending data from the CRM over to the SAS in an enterprise integration for recruitment and admissions. On the right-hand side, we're bringing that data back. Of course, we're going to bring back the SIS ID and the application number into the CRM system. Optionally, some clients may choose to, to also bring back financial aid information, registration status, maybe the university email as an example. So that's what that integration might look like between CRM and SIS on the recruitment and admissions side of the house.